Yeah, dude, that would piss me off. Yes, sir! Oh my god, dude. Another DNA bomb! See the call me late, like I give a fuck. Oh, let the money make me. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Silver here. Welcome back to the channel, man. And with the clips in the intro, that was all of me yesterday, where I made the video saying that DNA bombs are easy. And after that, recording and posting that video, I proceeded to drop, I believe, seven to eight more DNA bombs throughout that entire day. Not in all one session, but throughout the entire day, all the way to, I believe, 12 to 1 a.m. We had a total of nine to 10 DNA bombs in one day. And I believe two or three of them were with me getting two DNA bombs in one game, which is absolutely insane. If you saw the clips, I was being called a cheater. I was being told to get reported, mass reported, all that stuff. But I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been doing to get DNA bombs multiple times in the game and multiple times in a row. So first thing we want to work on is the kill streaks, okay? Listen, do not run score streaks because they will not count towards the actual kill streak of the DNA bomb. Because if you get all your score streaks by playing objective, your kill streak counter will still be at one or two if you don't get any kills, right? But if we build up towards our kill streaks, let's say we'll get a six kill streak right here, the precision airstrike, right? And let's say the precision airstrike gets us four kills. That's an additional two kills to our kill counter, right? Because it takes two kills for a kill streak to count as one kill, if that makes sense. So with four kills, divide that by two, we're gonna get two kills counted for towards our kill streak. So we're gonna go from six all the way to eight. So my logic is that if I stay long enough to get six to seven kills, right? Whatever it is, right? Eight kills most of the time because I'm using Carpet Bomb right now. The kill streaks between six all the way to eight will give you kills if you run them right, except for like the remote turret, the Juggernaut Recon, the IMS, and or the Cluster Mine. But if you want the most amount of kills, I would run the Carpet Bomb, the Lording Munition, and the other two I would run with are SAE and Precision Airstrike. But I've been using Carpet Bomb mostly and it's been absolutely insane so as soon as you get your kill streak most of the kill streaks from six all the way to eight force you to pull out a laptop so start camping in a corner or in a room right and pop them and what you want to do wait for it to end so after like my carpet bomb run ends and all that stuff if i don't have enough kills i start camping for my advanced uav once i get my advanced uav i try to get my swarm and that's literally all I do. What this will actually help me do is help my teammates out with the advanced UAV. And then Swarm will just keep them away from me at all times. So I can just let the Swarm do its thing. So just to sum it all up, use kill streaks to actually kill people, right? For the first kill streak that you get, let that do its work. And if you're not at advanced UAV, be smart about it and get your advanced UAV. And once you have your advanced UAV, start holding positions on the enemy, rushing them when they spawn in and picking your fights. And once you get your swarm, run away and let your swarm do the thing because I've been killed by my swarm multiple times and it's been horrible. But yeah, I've been using weapons that I've wanted to actually challenge myself with because the game mode that I'm gonna be telling you guys to play literally has no skill-based matchmaking. And for your secondary, the Renetti is the best secondary right now in multiplayer. But for everything else, from your perks, your field upgrades, your tactical, it's pretty obvious what I use. So I run Engineer. And what that's going to do is, and for our perk slots, it gives us gloves, boots, gear, and another gear slot. So what I use is Ghost to stay off the minimap. It says we're constantly moving around the map, camping at certain places. But once they pop a UAV, I start moving again. I use the compression plate. So just in case I'm fighting a 1v2 and I have cover and all that stuff, if I kill one and I got hit a little bit, I'll regen instantly so I can fight off the second person. And then I have covert so nobody can hear me at all. And the quick grip glove so I can quickly use my stimmies and switch between my primary and secondary gun. And for the field upgrade, I run the munitions box. And then for the tactical, we use the stims. But yeah, this is my class out of four DNA bomb. All right, so we're in our first game of the day, right? And hopefully 
Oh, actually, I gotta get a lobby. But... But yeah, we have a state now, which a state is such a great map for 10v10. I'm not even lying. Like, usually it's a horrible map everywhere else, but for 10v10 purposes, it's amazing, dude. Oh, nah. We got a whole ass sniper over there. <laughs> yeah, so my strategy is to literally evade players that are sniping at all costs. Like, obviously, you can't really do that if you don't know where they're at. So you got to really kind of hope and get lucky that your teammates are running UAVs and or they just play it slow enough to the point where you don't get shot and hit. Jesus, these guys got the kill streaks. Holy crap. Holy crap, what is that guy doing? Nope. Sniper. Just two away. We got our carpet bomb. But yeah, it's low key like a slow process of getting your uh DNA bomb sometimes. Which it is right now, I'm not gonna lie. Because this entire other team's just camping back there, man. But yeah, now we force flip their spawn. So we can push over here. I got no kills from that. But yeah, you guys see the kind of players I'm playing against, bro. I'm gonna camp down here so we don't get hit. From our bombing run. Pop another thingamajig over here. Hopefully that gets kills. Wasn't the best placement. We got a quad feed. That's two kills to our kill counter. They want to camp there? They're gonna get that, bro. Yeah, not peeking. My teammates completely got reset. Now we gotta play like a ninja. Holy crap, if I would have died to that guy. Are you serious, teammate? I'm not even thinking that. Oh my god, they sent an RPG to my house. It's over now we just can baby that was stressful man because they're not that they're camping literally everywhere he's now spawning in the house that's not good i don't want to go inside the house because somebody might be there or so my drone might hit me but yeah now hopefully i don't hit myself here there we go we got it first game on two bro holy crap <laughs> Let's see if we get a second one. There we go. First DNA bomb. Let's freaking go, dude. But yeah, literally just play 10v10 and you'll get lobbies like this. It's literally insane what kind of lobbies you get in 10v10 because there's literally no skill-based matchmaking. I've literally made a video about this. Um, I've talked about this in videos. They are doing these no skill-based matchmaking playlists to see if like people actually play more when there's no skill-based matchmaking involved. Which is absolutely kind of insane. Yeah, we got another carpet run right here. There we go. We might get a second one here, boys. We actually might get a second one in one game. They're in the prime spot. They're in the prime spot. They are in a prime spot. Another DNA bomb. I probably should have waited on that, but it's fine. Holy moly, bro. Oh my god, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. No, the game's about to end. No, 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 no. No, why did that just randomly kill me? Bro, dude, let's go. I could have gotten the, the, the triple DNA bomb, dude. 
Like, I've hit so many DNA bombs that it just doesn't even matter anymore, bro. And look at the player levels, dude. 22, 39, 53. Like, it's just that easy. It's it's genuinely that easy to read drone strikes. That guy definitely thought I was cheating. All this adds up because, listen, any kill streak that can actually kill people will give you kills towards your kill streak, right? And every two kills that the kill streak gets, it counts as one kill. So if I get a quad feed towards my advanced UAV, that'll get me at 10 kills. Then I just get two kills. Then with my advanced UAV, I just have to get five kills, right? Then my swarm will get the rest. I'm telling you guys right now, it's super easy to get a DNA bomb in Call of Duty right now, man. All you have to do is have kill streaks that actually kill, have a loadout that you can heal, be silent, and stay off the mini map with and be quick with and have stimmies and a munitions box and play a game mode that has no skill based matchmaking at all, which is 10v10 mosh pit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And yeah, it's been your boy Limbo. Peace.